Hey Amazon shoppers, Steve here today and I wanted to take a hot look at this Cambo Photo Miniature Tripod. Guys, I got the opportunity to review and test this for you. I have reviewed some very, very expensive tripods all the way down to some very, very cheap tripods. And uh, when I got this in, I was actually really impressed uh, with the uh, sturdiness of this little bitty tripod. I have one almost identical to this that is a 63 inch tripod that's made by a different company but uh, the functions of the tripod are basically the same. Uh, so I was pretty excited to get to uh, test and review this for you. I do a lot of uh, macro photography on the side. It's just a hobby of mine outside of doing uh, uh, the, my professional stuff. Uh, it's something that I've done for the last couple of years and I'm always fighting with tripods and setting up my tables. This table that I'm using here is actually one of my uh, macro tables that I uh, set up on and this tripod actually made it uh, a lot easier. I was kind of iffy at first because I think I got used to uh, uh, what I was doing and I knew exactly how to set up all my gear and uh, to throw in something new. Uh, I, like I said, I was a little bit iffy at first, but uh, I knew as soon as I took it out of the package, just feeling the heft of this tripod, that this was actually going to be a, uh, a decent uh, addition to my tripod arsenal, if you will. Uh, this does come with a nice little carrying bag, as you can see here. It's just a little nylon bag. You slide it down in there and it has a little pull tie to it, so you can stow it away pretty nice. Or you can. Uh, this actually will fit inside, down inside my Canon camera bag. So uh, I put it on the uh, one of the inside pockets and uh, stowed away pretty small. I can just break it down for you real quick. It's almost all the way down now, but uh, it's pretty small, guys. Uh, fit right down in my bag with absolutely no issues. So uh, I do like the fact that uh, these legs are just a twist. You just twist the end all the way, and there you have it. You pull them out. You can extend these, adjust them however you need to do it whatever you need to do for your setup uh, I think this is going to actually come in handy for me as well uh, with some of my product photography um, that I do and get my camera right down in there when you twist those you can actually fill each one of these unlock you can fill three unlock so that uh, what I wanted to uh, do real quick uh, I noticed uh, I'm gonna extend these legs all the way back out again and uh, I have just my uh, Canon camera here, uh, speed flash, and a 28 to 135 lens on. It's pretty one of my heavier lenses, and uh, I already have the uh, plate mounted on it. And guys, you can see it does have the uh, two catches, and it has a screwdriver style uh, thing here that goes in the bottom of your camera, but it also has a little flip up piece so you don't have to have a quarter or anything to tighten that up you just flip that up and you can tighten that so I do like that little feature I've had some tripods that came in and you're always every time you're changing you got to find a, uh, a coin or something to tighten that up but it has a little flip up thing right there that you can use uh, to turn it and then push it back down now guys I have this fully extended and I've moved my video camera up just a little bit trying to get this into a frame for you guys but what I wanted to do show you this this camera setup right here I just weighed it and it's right at five pounds so uh, what I had found when I was shooting was that you are going to have to watch your angles um, let me get this on if I loosen this and I pull this forward down into this groove, granted now it has five pounds on it. If I let go, I'm going to get your R. Going to see that you're going to have to watch your angles, guys. Um, it is a small tripod, so watch your weights and uh, how much you know front uh, front weight you have on your camera. And uh, so you may have to do a little uh, you know adjusting and stuff like that to get it to uh, to stay. But uh, that's fully extended with uh, five pounds of gear on it if i could get this ball head turned right here and line it up with a leg and loosen it see i can put i can put quite a bit of weight on it you can see right there it didn't move at all but i do have it lined up with one of the legs so just make sure that uh you have this little groove right here 
lined up with one of the legs if you uh, decide to tilt your camera and that's that's pretty much standard with uh, most tripods if you get too much front weight on it they will start to tip but I did notice uh, with the smaller tripods um, it's uh, it becomes more of a factor than it is with the uh, you know 60 inch tripods or bigger I did want to show you uh, real quick also right here if you pull these little tabs out push that down and pull that out that will extend out to a whole nother setting so you get a vertical you can do that with all three legs and really spread it out and get close to the ground so that's a that's a pretty cool little feature that they've added that's uh, it's actually on my bigger tripods feet on the bottom here with little points on them so uh you know you're not gonna worry about messing up tables or anything like that but you could also use it outside too because it, uh, it's pretty stiff right there in the middle so it's gonna dig in pretty smooth on the ball head guys um there's a little bit of uh of uh, tinkering that you have to do with it to play uh, if you loosen this side up here of course you're going to uh, your your uh, main shaft is going to move up and down but what i noticed was uh if you crank this uh this uh, knob here down all the way that's going to release your uh, head of course but uh, it also does the turn so one of the problems i had with that was one knob controlling the head and the turn um, not a big issue for me but if you're wanting to set this up to do any kind of panoramic shooting uh, what i found was with my gear on here i could just slightly loosen that knob and turn it and this stays locked on pretty good it's not going anywhere as long as you don't have a ton of weight on it so uh, that was just one of the issues i had with it i would have liked to have seen a separate uh, knob to control your uh, turn and uh, one for your head so uh, this part up here actually stayed on nicely and it does have the two catches right here so if uh, you forget uh, and this becomes loose on you uh, you got a little bit of a backup to uh, not drop and bust your gear uh, it does come with an allen wrench and an instruction booklet and it also comes with the uh, nylon bag and this is the box that it's going to come in now uh, guys for what you're getting uh, you're getting a uh, ball head uh, it's very compact, uh, lightweight, but still very, very sturdy. Um, I think this tripod is going to last me a long time, and uh, I'm, I'm glad that I, uh, I have it and I can use it in my macro photography. Um, so, I mean, as, as far as what you're getting for the price, I'm going to give it a five-star review. Um, I would, however, like to see uh, a separate knob, as I was saying here, for your turn and for your head. Because if you get a little bit too break dancy and turn that knob to uh, turn this, you're going to loosen this, of course, and then you're going to have a drop on your setup. So, um, not a big huge fan of that, but it's not an issue for me. Uh, but you guys need to keep that in mind uh, if you're deciding to purchase this. But uh, as far as that goes, a you know five star review for me. It, it does everything that it's supposed to do. It's sturdy. It's heavy duty and it does fold down compact and it's going to be used uh, every single time that I do my macro photography and I'm going to introduce it into my uh, product photography uh, uh, the, in this week so uh, if anything changes during the course of my use I will definitely let you guys know but uh, I hope this video review helps you guys if you have any questions or anything like that just drop it in the comment box and I'll try to help you the best that I can but until the next review as always be safe and happy shopping